A Christian content creator made a hit piece against Sneeko by analyzing his claims about Christianity, but failed miserably. He tried to convert Sneeko to Christianity by rejecting Christianity. It's funny. Let's watch the clips and come back. Now, the famous influencer Sneeko has been consistently given everyone five reasons for why he recently embraced Islam and why he rejects Christianity. Now, there's a lot of people are saying that he only converted to Islam because Andrew Tate did, but I personally don't know the man's motives and won't jump to any conclusions. However, if he is being sincere in the reasons that he gives, then we should expect for Sneeko to leave Islam and embrace Christianity by the time that he's done watching this video. The reason why is because the five reasons that he gives, if he wants to be consistent, are the very things that should actually cause him to reject Islam and instead become a Christian. Okay, I'm interested to see how you can convince Nico to turn from the worship of the one true creator to the worship of the creation and to go from absolute monotheism to believing in the Trinity like pagans used to believe. Let's see how he's going to call Muslims to polytheism. Let's start with his first reason. Why I resonate with Islam, why it makes sense for me because it's weird, it doesn't make sense to me to pray to a man. I don't want to submit to a man. The only person that we should submit to and that we should pray to should be the one creator of the universe, which is Allah. He created the universe and we love him for it. Perfect. That really, it makes the most sense to me. That's what I'm talking about. Christians believe in the Trinity and they believe that the second person of the Trinity, the Son, when he was on earth was 100% God and 100% human. Logically, it doesn't make any sense. We can't just pretend that an oxymoron is a valid belief that should be taken seriously. It's like me saying I'm a white and black guy or I'm a short tall man. It's impossible and frankly stupid. So as you just heard, Sneeko doesn't like the idea of submitting to a man and therefore decided to reject Christianity and to embrace Islam. But unfortunately, if Sneeko really does have a problem with submitting to a man, then he should reject Islam. The reason why is because, according to the Quran, Sneeko is actually commanded to submit to Muhammad, who's a man. So if this is a real reason for why Sneeko rejects Christianity, then he should also reject Islam. Did he just equate worshipping a human being to obeying a prophet of God? If I obey my parents, am I worshipping them according to this Christian logic? Subhanallah. I'm really starting to believe that the Trinity messes with Christian logical faculties. Narrated Umar, I heard the Prophet wasallam saying, Do not exaggerate in praising me as the Christians praise the son of Mary for I am only a slave so call me the slave of Allah and his apostle we don't believe that prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is divine he is a creation of Allah and of course we should follow him because he's literally receiving revelation from Allah and Christians aren't following Jesus peace be upon him and obeying his teachings they elevated him to the status of God and that's why Christianity is polytheism but what's even more interesting is the reason that he gives for why he thinks that he should only worship Allah he said that he only wants to worship Allah because Allah is God, Allah is the creator of the universe, and therefore we should love him for it. But ironically, in Christianity, Jesus is God. He created the entire universe. So why does Sneeko have a problem with worshiping Jesus in Christianity? Just for everybody's information, Jesus peace be upon him was not from London. Sometimes Christians forget and act like Jesus peace be upon him was speaking English. Jesus peace be upon him was from Palestine and he spoke Aramaic. And according to Atur.com, an Aramaic lexicon and concordance, God in Aramaic is Allah. And it's even written similarly to Allah in Arabic. It's funny how this Christian thinks he came up with a good argument. He said, Sneeko, you believe Allah is the one true God, but why don't you believe Jesus is God because the Bible says so? The same argument can be made by a Hindu. Should we believe in Shiva now because the Indian epics and Puranas say so? He quoted some references mentioning that Jesus was God. Let's read some of them and see how clear Christian beliefs are. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. So from this verse we understand that Jesus is God? Seriously? It doesn't even mention Jesus peace be upon him. Let's analyze the verse. It says that the word was with God. We now have two separate entities. God and the word. And then the verse says that the word is God. So you have two gods now. And God was with another God. That's polytheism. One God is with another God. Which is what we Muslims call shirk. I still can't believe that he quoted 1 Corinthians 8 verse 6 as proof that Jesus is God when in reality it proves the opposite. 1 Corinthians 8 verse 6 Yet for us there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things came and from whom we live. And there is but one Lord, 
Jesus Christ, through whom all things came and through whom we live. So the Father is the only God. The Trinity is destroyed in the same verse he just quoted. And Jesus, peace be upon him, said the same thing in John 17 verse 3. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So Jesus peace be upon him is clearly telling Christians, I am not God and the Father is the only true God. And Christians be like, we don't care. You are our God because Roman pagans believed in sons of Jupiter. Well, the reason why is because Sneko seems to have a problem with Jesus being both God and man. Fair enough. So for argument's sake, let's go ahead and say that Jesus isn't God and that he's only a man. That's not how it works. You don't need to blaspheme according to your religion to prove a point. You need to prove the hypostatic union from the scriptures and show how it works logically. You can't just bypass the most important doctrine in Christianity and act like you are concealing it for argument's sake. When we all know you are deliberately ignoring this part because you have no argument. Instead of being honest and saying it's a mystery, you are trying to fabricate an argument with non-Christian basis. So if you have to submit to a man in both Islam and Christianity, then who does Sneko think is the more rational person to submit to? On the one hand, we have Muhammad, who wasn't born of a virgin. Well, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a human being, like the rest of us, do have sin. Needed forgiveness for his sins. The promise of God is that he does forgive sins, and his promise in the Quran is that he has forgiven the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for his sins, past and future. And according to Sneko, he wasn't perfect and did some questionable things. Are you against grooming? Yeah, it's gross. How do you feel about like the fact that Muhammad like married a nine-year-old girl? Um, I don't know how true that is. About but I don't think any Muslims deny it. If that's true, then he's not, then you know, nobody's perfect. It's funny to me how Christians are using liberal arguments against Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and never the Bible. If you have a problem with the marriage of our mother Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon her, then quote a verse from the Bible. Use scripture and not the age of consent set by liberal secular societies. According to the European Union Agency for Fundamental Rights, age of consent in Austria, Bulgaria, Estonia, Germany, Hungary, Italy, and Portugal is 14 years old. These are Christian countries and not Muslim countries. I dare you to make a video calling these Christians sexual deviants and p You are not a Christian, you are a liberal. There is no difference between you and a blue-haired feminist. You both have the same subjective morality and don't care about what God says in the scriptures. And by the way, the clip from Sneeko was before he became Muslim. So your argument doesn't make any sense. So, if Sneeko doesn't have a problem with submitting to a man like Muhammad, who, even according to him, wasn't morally perfect, then why would he have a problem submitting to someone like Jesus, who, even according to Islam, was born of a virgin, performed miracles, and wasn't a sinner? Thank you for proving that you don't need Christianity and the Bible. Because in Islam and the Quran, Jesus, peace be upon him, is a true prophet of God. We believe in his virgin birth, and all his miracles that he performed with the permission of Allah. But we reject the idea that he's God or the son of God. In Islam, we believe that the messengers of Allah, all of them, are infallible with regard to conveying the message from Allah. And we don't differentiate between the prophets like you do. And this Christian claimed that Jesus is sinless. Well, uh, not according to the Bible. Matthew 15 verse 25 to 26. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. We all agree that racism is a sin. So Jesus calling a Canaanite woman a dog in the Bible is clear-cut racism. He insulted her because she's not Israelite and she's a Gentile. This is the true Jesus of the Bible. And you also believe that Jesus is God. So Jesus was the same God of the Old Testament. 1 Samuel 15 verse 3. Now go, attack the Amalekites and totally destroy all that belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. I have never in my life read in a book a command to kill babies and infants. This is the most horrific command I've ever read. I don't believe that this command is from God. Is this your loving Jesus that you're trying to promote to us? If you want a religion of pure monotheism, come to Islam and leave Christianity. Now, let's move over to another reason that Sneko gives for converting to Islam. I like the fact that you pray five times a day in Islam. That's, you're going to be more grounded 
they they take prayer more seriously than any other religion. All right, now this is actually a really strange one because not too long after he recorded this video, he asked for guidance in this area and he said this. I, de I don't have the time to pray five times a day. D are you supposed to f take f all the steps fully? Are you supposed to fully dive into it or can you, like w w what's, the, what's the next move? So now, it's pretty strange that he cites praying five times a day as something that he likes about Islam, which is ironically the same thing that he thinks that he can't do. What is this? Is this the level of argumentation Christians have? Is he expecting a new Muslim to learn everything about Islam and not ask questions? This is embarrassing. Yes, we Muslims are required to pray five times a day and Sneeko should too. But he should, of course, take his time to learn. According to this Christian, if something is hard, it means it's false or doubtful. Allah al-Musta'al. Now, I'm not sure if he realizes that these prayers aren't prayers that spontaneously come from the heart. Instead, these prayers are just memorized sayings in Arabic, which is, of course, a language that Sneeko doesn't understand. It's funny listening to Christians act like they understand Islam and pretend they know what they're talking about and try to blame Muslims for taking their religion seriously and learning the Quran in its original language. For your information, Mr. Christian, during prayer and especially when prostrating. You can ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you want and in any language you want. And assuming that new Muslims praying in Arabic don't understand what they're saying has no basis. I realize Christians in the West hate the Arabic language. I don't want to claim bigotry, but uh, who knows why? <laughs> he shouldn't be a Muslim since in Islam he's obligated to pray five times a day and he even said himself that he can't meet all his obligations since he doesn't have the time for it. So instead of embracing Islam, he really should just embrace Christianity. Sneeko should become a Christian because prayer is not obligatory. Is this really your argument? Come on man, you're making a mockery of Christianity. You sound just like a liberal going to India for a spiritual awakening. The only major difference here is that in Christianity, God loves you whether you're faithful to him or not and if you're a believer or a non-believing sinner, which just isn't the case in Islam. Wrong. God definitely hated some people in the Bible. For example, Romans 9 verse 13, just as it is written, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. And in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to repent directly to him when we sin. Abu Huraira reported Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam having said, by him in whose hand is my life. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and he would replace you by those people who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah and he would have pardoned them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most loving because he doesn't require blood sacrifice for the forgiveness forgiveness of sin. But in Christianity, there is no forgiveness without the shedding of the blood of an innocent man. In Islam, it's love and forgiveness. But in Christianity, it's vengeance and payment. What I like about Islam and why it's it's haram to draw Muhammad. And that's why I, I didn't really resonate with Christianity a lot growing up, because it's like, they're all the images that they put of God. It doesn't make sense to me. We can't, we are not capable of visualizing what the creator of the universe looks like, what he's doing. Why is he in a cloud chilling with the beard? Why is he white? Why is God a dude? It doesn't make any sense. So there's no point in us even conceptualizing it because we can never have the capability to. So as you just heard, he thinks that it's wrong to draw God or Jesus or Muhammad since we don't know what they actually look like. But if conceptualizing or visualizing God is a problem for Sneeko and not just backwards reasoning to come up with justification for why he's accepting Islam, then once again, Sneeko has some serious problems. The first reason why is because according to some Islamic teachers, Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands. And both of Allah's hands are right hands. This is what we call affirming what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed for himself and without resembling him to the creation. For example, Allah has a hand and the clock has a hand. And we don't believe that Allah's hand is like clock's hands or my hand. He is creator of the heavens and the earth. He has made for you from yourselves mates and among the cattle mates. He multiplies you thereby. There is nothing like unto him and he is the hearing, the seeing. And anything you imagine is not God. And last but definitely not least is perhaps the most absurd of them all. The fifth reason that he gives for rejecting Christianity and embracing Islam is the fact that the Bible's been changed and the Quran hasn't. But you're probably wondering to yourself right now, 
Why would that be the most absurd of all of his claims since that's a claim that Muslims often make? Yes, true. I was also wondering how the claim that the Bible is corrupted could be the most absurd claim when Christian scholars clearly admit that the Bible is corrupted. Bruce Metzger, in his book, The Text of the New Testament, its transmission, corruption and restoration. He claimed that origin of Alexandria said this, the differences among the manuscripts have become great, either through negligence of some copyists or through the perverse audacity of others. They either neglect to check over what they have transcribed or in the process of checking, they make additions or deletions as they please. So it's not just a Muslim claim. It's your own scholars, Mr. Christian. Well, it's not the ignorance of the claim that makes it the most interesting, but instead it's the way that he argues for it. So the context here in this clip that I'm about to play is that Sneeko is having a debate with Jideon on Islam and Christianity and Sneeko is coming across as if he literally doesn't know any of the basics of the Bible. What's what's the chapter and verse of that? Matt verse uh, 39. What's the chapter? Uh, I don't know. There's been so many the different, Bible, there's so the many different, there's so many different versions of the Bible, bro. What, what other versions of the Bible are there? Sneeko? There's so many, bro. Okay, tell me some. Okay, let's look up versions of the Bible. We have the King James Version, the English Standard Version, the New American Standard, the New English Bible. You know, you know, you know, you know the funny thing about all those different versions, Sneaker? What? They're all just different translations, buddy. But it gets worse. What gets worse? You literally ignore the fact that those are truly different versions and not just translations. For example, let's compare the King James Version with the new international version. First John 5, 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. This is the best evidence for the Trinity. But unfortunately for you, you know and I know that this is a clear corruption and a later addition to the text. That's why the Trion formula has been removed from the new international version of the Bible. First John 5, 7. For there are three that testify. Stop pretending that Sneeko said some wild stuff, when in reality he was correct but a little bit confused. This is probably the longest video I made. But uh, you can watch this video to learn more about the corruption of the Bible and the pagan origin of the Trinity. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.